Hi folks, uh, it's me again, and today you'll notice that Father Brown is out. I've decided to take him on holiday, and I'm not even anywhere local, I'm about 200 miles away from home at the moment, and I'm staying with friends that live just down the road there at Balmacara, and I'm heading up to Sky. Yeah, so I'm on the road, a few miles short of Kyle Loch Alsh, and this first video will be the run up there, and over the Sky Bridge up to um, Broadford. I'm going to stop there, top the tank up. Because just now it's shown that um, I filled it up in Fort William and I've done 73 and a half miles and he's only used one bar of fuel but I don't quite believe the, the fuel gauge on this so yeah I'm going to take the road up to Broadford and then get petrol and then from there I'm going to go over to Waternish Point on Sky. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how I get on. So you can actually see the Isle of Sky in the distance just disappeared behind the trees there. That was the red cooling. We'll get a better look at them when we get up the road. Yeah, so we're just toddling along the day. No great rush. Um, I arrived up the road a couple of days ago and I managed to miss most of the rain. Um, I got a wee shower round about where the Glencoe ski slope is until about a quarter of the way down into Glencoe. There was a bit of rain and then it was fine. And then after in Bergari, I came up over the hill and turned left towards the Kyle of Loch Alsh along Glen Shield. And um, where was it? Round about the Clooney Inn. So the far end of Glen Shield, this sort of north end of Glen Shield, there's a, a hotel called the Clooney Inn. And uh, there's a bit of rain there for a couple of miles, but that was it, it never got wet. So there we can see the mountains on sky. The red Cullen are on the left. They're the sort of rounded ones, and the black Cullen are the pointy ones in the distance. And this is Loch Alsh. And the Sky Bridge is up there as well. You see the Sky Bridge going over a Kalakin. And the Kulins are all up the back there. So we're actually, there's quite a high cloud base today. So you're seeing all the mountains. Which is quite rare up these parts. Because I think they call it the Isle of Sky because the sky is normally about three feet above your head but today the sky is probably over 5,000 feet above our heads so we'll get a look at the mountains yeah so this is the Kyle of Loch Alsh used to be where you got the ferry the ferry used to go across um, to the island but they built a bridge a good few years ago I'll show you where the ferry used to used to leave from. It's just at these traffic lights, which again never used to be here. I'll leave this junction clear. Right, so this is a nice wee town. It's still thriving. It's still got plenty of shops and local amenities. It's really quite nice. Come on. Give us a green light. Yo, yo. But that road ahead, they had to blast all that rock out to make the access for the Sky Bridge. So that took quite a while to do. There's actually two bridges. There's a short one, a short level one. And then there's the steeper, uh, you know, the big arch bridge that goes over the main bit of the water, Loch Alsh. But this is the sort of ferry terminus here. And there's the slipway. All the cars used to go down. There's now a leisure boat pontoon 
and there's a thing called the Sea Probe Atlantis. It's one of these glass bottom boats. That's it over there. You see it just over near Sky, going along that blue boat with the white. You go on that and you can go downstairs and see underwater on a clear day. It's really good. There's shipwrecks and fishies and stuff, you know. So it's a nice wee day out. So that's the Sea Probe Atlantis. There's the Loch Alsh Hotel, the big main hotel there. It's got lovely views over the sky. That's Isla Sky over there. It's not very far. And uh, that used to be the ticket office. The Pizza Mia was the ticket office. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is where folk would get the ferry over the sky. What's this bugger doing? They run up the road, like I say, only got a couple of bits of rain, but my god, the tourist traffic. It was a bank holiday Monday. And uh, you get a lot of the foreign camper vans and ready camper vans. And sometimes they don't know the bids of their own vehicle, so they're honking on the brakes now and again, just like I did there. Getting all the red lights today. Yeah, they suddenly break to look at something nice and take pictures while they're driving along and, you know, that kind of thing. They're doing 40, 45 in a 60 and it doesn't seem to bother them that they've got a big queue wanting past, wanting to get on with it. So, yeah, Father Brown did a fair bit of overtaking on Monday. So when the Sky Bridge opened, there was a fair bit of controversy because it was uh, it was under the Thatcher era where everything was privatised. So the bridge, a uh, private company that built it, and that was the ticket office for the bridge there. You had to pay your toll. And back then it was like four pound odds, five quid or something, you know, so that's a lot of money. It was like 10, 11 pounds to go over and come back, and it was just crazy money. But anyway, when, uh, oh yeah, look at that. That's the view we're here for. There's the Coolins in Sky over there. Kalakin. That's the first village on the island Sky. But yeah, this is lovely. I just want the tourists come to see. And my God, they're getting the good weather just now. I really love it when folk come up to Scotland and, you know, it's a bit of a trek, you know, from mainland Europe to drive all the way up here. And it's good that they get the weather. And then they'll go home and see what lovely time they had. They'll stand up so you can see the mountains a bit better. Yeah, that's the Coolins up there. The red Coolins on the left there. They're called the Red Coolins because they're mostly pink granite and uh, they do look red in the sunlight and the black coolings made from a different kind of rock. Can't find, is it? Nah, I'd just be guessing if I said what kind of rock it was. But it's black anyway. So that's us now on the Isle of Skye. So since they've built the bridge, the Isle of Skye is basically a great big cul-de-sac. <laughs> if you think about it like that. Um, you can still get the ferry. There's a ferry over, way over to the left there, that goes over a narrow stretch of water to Glen Elk. That's a lovely wee, lovely wee ferry. There's quite a lot of current in the water because it's such a narrow, narrow pass, you know. There's a lot of water has to get through, so there's quite a heavy current over there. That's us, Broadford, seven miles. Yeah, so like I was saying back there, the, the tolls were crazy money. And uh, it eventually got, the tolls got scrapped on all the bridges in Scotland. Um, 
pretty sure it was definitely the SNP government that done that. Scrap for the tolls on the bridges. And uh, so it'd be great, you know, when you go over the what used to be the fourth road bridge over the River Forth that you had to pay a toll there and you had to pay a toll coming back and it's the modern traffic, you know, there's such a high volume of traffic, you just can't have toll booths and things holding everybody up. So yeah, there's no toll roads or anything in Scotland either. This is quite a nice road, uh, national speed limit up here, so we'll just took along 60, 55, 60, because uh, you do get people coming up with sports cars and sports bikes and things, and you know, they're treating the whole island like a race track, and it's not really the best idea to be belting down some of these back roads, I don't know what's written the water. But we'll no doubt, I mean, this is the main road onto the island, so it's, you know, it's big and wide and straight, but we will eventually get onto, like, single track roads. They're almost gravelly. <laughs> the tarmac's kind of done its bit, and it's all broken up. But, ah, it is what it is. We're cyclists. What a shame. Good guy. I think he could have bought a motorbike instead, eh? So there's not much of you at the moment, because we're sort of... the road's tree line for these conifers. But you get a wee peak now and again over to the right, and good stuff. Yeah. Lovely! That's Broadford Bay, just down below the red roads. A sailing boat out, they've just got their gym. Don't have a green sail up, they've just got one of their gym. And a lovely place to come sailing as well. If sailing is your thing. Mr. Payne, you like a bit of sailing, don't you? <laughs> That's another YouTube channel I've watched, it's the, the old year motorcyclist, um, TAME for short, T-A-Y-M. He's a really good motorbike channel. Oh, that's the wee, uh, the wee runway airport thing down there, for light aircraft. It's down there. Where are we now? We're coming into every place. There's a lot of places that sort of have a collective village name, but they're really just little small holdings and houses dotted about over the space of a mile or two, but it still gets called a village. But... Right. Ain't no oncoming traffic. So that's Lord Breckish Beach down there. It's bloody lovely. Really, really nice. We'll sit down there with a picnic. Brilliant. And now we're into Breckish. Makes sense, because Lord Breckish is down at the water and Breckish is not. Yeah, a lot of these houses are now bed and breakfast or holiday lets and stuff. I think it's like a lot of tourist places, it can be quite hard to get the property ladder, you know, for young couples or whatever. Try to buy a house, get priced out the market. But you see they're just like wee crofting houses and there's a fair bit of spare ground around each of them. This is what I mean about the, the touristy stuff. Barely doing 30 mile an hour. Oh, no, hang on. What's he doing? He's going into Red Sky Restaurant. There's actually a lot of really, really 
high quality restaurants, you know, sort of Michelin star type places and stuff on Sky because there's so much good. Eh, maybe Morris Minor, man. Maybe Thatch Cottage, pay attention, Douglas. There's a. Uh, what was I saying now? Dum -dum -dum -dum. Got distracted there. Lost my train of thought. Yeah, speaking about the property lad, I'm getting on here. All the folk of all the Airbnbs and and things, and then restaurants. Yeah, there's a lot of really, really good restaurants, especially seafood ones. Um, you get all the langoustines, prawns, lobsters, crabs, and squat lobsters, and all sorts of lovely tasty food up here. So yeah, there's a lot of high quality produce up this way. So you get some restaurateurs that have got small menus, you know. There's no pages and pages of stuff. You know a place is good when it's got a small menu. But you end up spending a hundred quid on your dinner, you know, it's a bit much, anyway. Armadale, over to the left, you get the ferry to Malig, over at Armadale. You know, I ain't going there today. I wonder what Armadale sort of means, there's a lot of, a lot of places called Armadale. There's one down uh, near Virala, Vasti and Livingston, and there's Bathgate, it's the next town, and then the next town along is called Armadale. So, there we go. Broadford, one mile, nearly there. This is Harapool. Well, like I say, everything seems to be stretched out and long and all that, new villages. And Waterloo is down to the right. It's got nothing to do with the Battle of Waterloo, or even the Abba song. But it's still called Waterloo. Yeah, nice here. Tides out, the looks it. So the... I think it was during the breaks in lockdown and just afterwards you know, before the supply chain started getting going again and but everybody wanted to go everywhere. There was like a shortage of fuel and um, the locals were cracking up because the petrol stations, the minute they opened, were getting drained out with all these camper vans with the big fuel tanks. So they actually, there were some petrol stations had signs outside saying no camper vans. It's like, well, you know, they're going to have to buy petrol at some point. But yeah. It was one of these local petrol for local people. Yeah. So that was that. Oh, there you go. Right at the last minute. Hello. With your high vis jackets. Jesus. Anyway, that's that's another thing I don't like. It's up to date, you know, everybody themselves and all that, but it's the ones that wear the high-vis jackets with polite written on the back in the same font as police, you know, and they've got their bike all decorated up. So they're just driving around, on the, riding around on their bikes, pretending to be policemen. If you want to do that, go join the police. That's as I'm broad for now. Yep. Petrol station is just up at the co-op here, so that was the first wee leg of the trip through Kyla Loch Alsh, over the Sky Bridge, up through all the wee villages to Broadford. Yes, so it's down three bars now. Yeah, that's more like it. It's down three bars. So 145.9. It's not the end of the world, is it? Where can I get filled up? Yeah, 
Activity, yes, activity, yes. This one's empty. So there we have it. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video when I'm heading up towards Waternish. Oh, anybody want anything for the shop while I'm here? No? Okay, sort yourself then.